assassinations, beheadings. Uh, beheadings? Yeah. Please, please don't say Manny Correta. <laughs> please don't say Manny Correta. Somebody, um, yeah, there's no point. Oh, no. In, in Medina, a, la a large uh, trench was dug. Oh, uh, please. Mohammed uh, gave the order. Well, not, not, He's now quoted from Ibn Isaq, which 70% of the scholars reject, 70, sorry, the scholars reject 70% of his work. Some people don't like it. Oh, it's authentic. Uh, you know, why does 70% of the scholars reject that, that story? Fabricated. Why? No, why? Why? Because uh, if you... No, why does 70% of the scholars reject that story? Did Muhammad speak about Jesus? Yes, he did. Really? Where? When he when he made up the Quran. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Now you made another. Now you're saying Muhammad is the author of the Quran? Yes, of course. He is. Who told you that? Uh, Muhammad himself. Where? When he spoke. If I speak the words of Lord of the Rings, am I J. A. Tolkien? No, but when you make. Am himself, I? Am I? So what we'll do here, yeah? My brother here will rinse you now. Sorry. <laughs> on this understanding of Uthman, all right? And then I will rinse you on your original point on Muhammad receiving revelation, okay? I'll, we'll do both. Yeah. He'll do the second part because he's an expert on that. Then I'll destroy your initial point. Yeah, fair enough. And then convinced Christian will see he's got nothing to stand on and then we'll deal with your Christianity. Fair enough? Yeah, all right. Fair okay, this video is from November 2016. So subhanAllah, nearly six years ago. And what happened was I was in the park, then there was this geezer, apparently he knew me, I don't remember him, um, and he was grilling uh, this reverse sister and uh, I think her husband on issues about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and assassinations or whatever. Um, the conversation quickly then moved on to the Quran and who was the author of the Quran. Now, mashallah, Brother Mansour then stepped in. And to be honest with you, this video is more about my brother Mansour. So, alhamdulillah, he was there to to take apart this, uh, and I would say, Islamophobic uh, attempt to challenge the authorship of the Quran. Now, the main reason for me showing you this video is that there was a participant who was kind of heckling a little bit from the sides, a young girl called Liz. And she was she was acting like was being unfair to the guy, not letting him speak and such. And she called herself a convinced Christian. So I then said to her, we're going to test your conviction after this conversation. So this particular video is set in the scene for the, for the video that's to follow, which will be me and Liz and challenging her conviction with regards to Christianity. Anyhow, enjoy the video. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, like, and share. It comes to the lion. I mean, uh, this man. Uh, will I mean, go look Skyler, it up. But I did change my religion for a Yeah, what am I going to verify? Sorry, what am I going to verify? What am I going to verify? It's knowledge. If you ask this man from his uh, knowledge of the Hadiths, did Mohammed ever order any assassinations? He will say yes. He will say there's a reason for those assassinations. Okay. Mohammed did assassinate women and men. Okay. If that's in the hadith, what, if that's in the hadith, what, what's your point? I don't get your point. Yeah, no problem. I don't. I don't understand your point. What's your point you're making? Yeah, so now you know that he that he believes that he did assassinate women. Well, and himself men. killed them. No, when you when you tell when you tell, your, when you tell your when you tell your, your Muslim warriors go and kill this woman. Just to yeah. Have yeah. To what happened to you? For what? I mean, I've never story. heard this uh, in anything yeah. that I've researched. I've never never heard heard I'm no scholar, well, no, Sheikh, no, no, but I'm, I'm obviously, not, but I've I'm never, I have done scholar. my own I've research. Got a very so why are you afraid to engage people but, of knowledge? Uh, why are you afraid to engage people of knowledge? speaking, sir, you do have to, we all have to, whether we're Muslim or Christian or atheist, it doesn't matter. We do have to be very careful of what we believe in the media and what we read, and we do have to do thorough research, uh, regardless. Because you're talking the, about something that I've this never is not read. Media. This is not in the media. I know, I'm just giving an example, yeah. but you're saying that you read it in a hadith. Some hadiths, uh, there are criteria to authenticate a hadith. Yeah, exactly, I think yes, there yeah. are five criteria, I don't know, maybe that's for hijab, yeah, I'm that's, getting that's confused. The science of hadith, but there yes. are criteria. Some are authenticated and some are not. I don't understand your point, Something though. Something that you read may not be. It could be an anti-Muslim who is trying to no, no, spread no, dirt about cause, cause Islam. Because many Muslims, so. uh, including this man, will... will uh, Why would you keep including me? I don't know you. <laughs> will, uh, Sorry, excuse me for everyone here. I don't know this guy yet. Yeah? And he's talking like he knows what I think and uh, know. And We've spoken please. a number of times. I've spoken with you. So I've been here for seven years, so we have spoken with I don't remember speaking to you. So, um... I would remember this nonsense. In my I don't remember this nonsense. I, I have spoken. So what is that? Oh, that's. Oh, sorry, sorry. It all makes sense now. That's why you don't want to engage me. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Was, don't want to look a fool on camera. I accept there was, that. There was one of the the men during the time of the Islam. He's Islam. He, he was uh, accusing his wife Aisha, nine years old, of being married. 
of committing adultery. So Muhammad could have ordered him to kill, ordered his companions to kill them. Yes. But Muhammad his response was, I don't want people to start saying that Muhammad is killing his own companions. So why don't you know this story? And why do you rather know these stories where Muhammad what, what is assassinated? He's in his kind when you, and gentle when you ask, and he shows when you ask somebody, That's someone uh, who insulted his one of his wives. I know, I know the story about the woman who tried poison. And he was one of the main hypocrites. I know, uh, I, know, I know one of the stories, partly one of the stories, about a woman used to throw cabbage or something at, at Muhammad. Tell us the story. Tell us the story of the woman who threw cabbage. Tell us the story of the woman who threw cabbage. It's not cabbage. I know, I know. It's so garbage. So you know the story, I do. and I, of my own admission, said I know in part of the story. Yes. Because Muslims have up here for seven years have told me that story many times. Yeah. So, um, do you believe the story? Yes. I oh, so you believe that story? Yes, so you believe you showed that compassion that, that to that woman? People do many, many things for different reasons. Okay. When I look at uh, Mohammed uh, as a whole, I see the amount of uh, assassinations, beheadings. Uh, beheadings? Please, please don't say Bani Koreita. <laughs> please don't say Bani Koreita. Somebody, um, there, there is no point. Oh, no. In, in Medina, a, a large uh, trench was dug. Oh, please. Uh, Mohammed uh, gave the order. Right. No, no. He's now quoted from Ibn Isaq, which 70% of the scholars reject, 70, sorry, the scholars reject 70% of his work. Some people don't like it. Oh, it's authentic. Uh, you know, why does 70% why does of the scholars reject that, that story? Fabricated. Why? No, why? Why? Because uh, if you... No, why does 70% of the scholars reject that story? Uh, well, many of the Muslims up here... No, why no, does 70% no, no, of the scholars uh, uh, reject no. Ibn Isaq's version of events? Why? Because they don't like the sound of it. No, no. <laughs> they don't like the we'll sound to, of it. We'll have to leave you. Okay, yeah. okay yeah. Take All right. Yeah. I'll see you. All right. And we'll continue. Uh, well, that's up to me, isn't it? Would you like to continue? No, I wouldn't like to continue. You wouldn't? I can continue, yeah. Are you going to continue or not continue? What do you want to talk about then? Whatever you want to talk about. What do you believe? What's the subject? Let's see what you believe. I believe that, uh, that, that I'm a sinner. Are you a Christian? Yeah. That's what I believe in, yeah? yeah Alright, you're a sinner? Uh, that I can not please God by any of my actions. Okay. If I was to give all my money to the poor, yep. if I was to uh, uh, be martyred, you know, without, without causing any pain to anybody else, if I was to give all my body parts to, to science to save people, that, uh, that I still wouldn't uh, be uh, acceptable to God in heaven. Why do you believe that? Because he's, because he's perfect. No, why do you believe that? It's what you just said. And I'm imperfect. No, why do you believe that? Though? My conscience tells me. How does your conscience tell you that? How does my conscience tell How do you know that none of anything you can do can please God? How do you know that? Because of what I've just told you. Uh, no, no, no. I want to know why you believe that. Your conscience can't tell you that. You weren't born believing that. You're saying my conscience can't tell me something. Your conscience can't tell you God will forgive you. How do you know what my conscience can tell me or not? Because your conscience is based on your sub sorry, your social conditioning. And what you've read, what you've seen, what you've heard, what you've taught, which will influence you. Of course yes. You, you believe there's a God? Do I believe there's a creator? Yes, yes of course. So do you? So you're, so you're do you accept the creator? So let's, let's see what we agree on. So you're saying, do you believe in a creator? So you're saying that your conscience is by your own social condition. Yeah. My conscience? Yes. My conscience? My, you, yes, of course it is. You, yeah, of course it is. And not by your God. What do you think social conditioning is? I know what social conditioning is. What is social conditioning? Uh, it's uh, the society... Uh, uh, right. Uh, right. So is me not learning about Islam, reading the Quran, understanding the teachings of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, not part of my social conditioning? That's what it is. Is it or not? So, so there's no creator. Is it or not? There's no creator involved. Is it or not? There's no creator involved. Is that or not? My question to you is, there's no creator involved. Is it or not? You're not answering my question. No, I, I asked the question. I, I, I asked you a question. You can't answer my question with a question. Answer my question first, then I'll answer your question. I can do whatever I want. Speak as corner. Well, well, are we dealing logically here or illogically here? Uh, my logic tells me that, uh, first of all, you've said that you know what my conscience uh, is. Yes. No, my logic says, you ask a question and the person answers that question. No. You made an accusation. You said your conscience is this. You know, no, I said you said I, I said to you, your conscience is bound by your social conditioning. So that's your state. Do you agree or not? Um, no, it's not. It's not. So you saying your conscience would be the same here? I say, uh, well, let, let, me, let me put it this way. To a certain degree, uh, who I am as a person, the, my social conditioning has had an effect. But there's something higher than that. And it's the spirit of God who witnesses to me above my no, Who told you that? God told How, me. When God spoke to you? He did speak to me. Really? Has God spoken to you? Do you hear God's voice? Has God spoken to you? Yes. 
When did God speak to you? Every day. Do you hear God's voice? No. You don't hear God's voice? No. So how, when he speaks to you, mm -hmm. you can't hear his voice? No. So you're deaf to his voice? I don't hear his voice. My ears are not capable of hearing so his you're voice. Deaf, you're deaf to his no. voice? No. No. My, yeah, my ears are deaf to his voice. Yes, of course. So, but you hear his voice? No, I, he didn't say that, did you? He said he was going to speak to me. So how does he speak to you? Through his messengers. Through his messengers? Who is his messengers? Muhammad Sasa. That's one person. You said messengers. His prophets. Huh? Through his messengers. Which, which prophets? Jesus, Moses, Abraham, Adam, Noah, Jacob, what, Joseph. What did Adam told you? Adam? It's, it's through the message. What's the message of Adam? No, no, no I'm asking you the question. Yeah, you said, listen, you, listen, you, listen, you listen, listen. You said that, that... As far as I'm concerned... You said that Allah speaks to you through Adam. So what does Adam, Adam say? All of the messengers of God... What does Adam say I'll, 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 I'll make it easy for you. All of the messengers of God... I'm asking about Adam. Not he's, all, he's, I'm talking about all of them. I'm including Adam. I'm including Muhammad. I'm including Adam Jesus. Say. And I'm... I'm not talking about Adam's book specifically, is it? It's what came from him, yeah? Was to worship one God. Worship God. Where does Adam say that? Yeah, that... I, Oh, Adam, doesn't have, Adam doesn't have to say to me, oh, uh, Hamza, uh, you have to worship God. You, you said you hear... You hear his, his message wasn't for me, was Adam. it? Was Adam's message for me? Huh? No, I didn't say I hear the voice of Adam. Do you not listen? You don't hear the voice. You, no, no, no. You asked me. You said you hear the voice of You asked me, does God speak to you? I said yes, through his messenger. Now, obviously, the logical question is, his messengers are dead. How does his messenger speak to you? Logical answer. Logical question. Speak logic, my friend. Yeah? yeah I have been speaking logic. No, you've not. I have. No, you haven't. If I said to you, God speaks to me through his messenger... If you understand logic, then that, that's up to you, isn't it? Really? I do understand logic. But you say you don't understand me. Yeah, because you're not speaking logically. That's an accusation. <coughs> I'm making an accusation. Sorry, you sorry, sorry, you understand sorry, me, don't you? Sorry, sorry, no, I don't understand you. No, you understand what I just said, then. You don't yeah, understand you what saying. saying to him, uh, What are you talking about? You don't understand logic. Look, 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 it's very, very simple. It's very, very simple, yeah. I believe God speaks to me through his messenger. Now, of course, the messengers are all dead. But, alhamdulillah, the final messenger of God was given... All of them? All of them, no. apart from Jesus. All right. None of the messengers are here. Okay. Jesus is alive, yes? Yes, alhamdulillah. And he never died. Alhamdulillah. Anyway, so now... <laughs> so now, how do I know the message of God? Now... Sorry, let me, let me, let me qualify that. Jesus died physically in the body. You don't have to qualify nothing. But his spirit uh, never died. L listen, his, listen, listen. His spirit uh, as far as, a, as, far as the Quran is concerned, whatever happened to Jesus was irrelevant. Well, irrelevant, mate. So forget it. You're, you're, saying, you're saying irrelevant. You're saying something that is written in the Quran is irrelevant. I'm saying something. No, no, no. The, what, what, what happened to, what happened to, what according to, what's written down according to Allah? Nobody knows what happened what, to Jesus. What's written down in the Quran about Jesus is irrelevant. What yes, irrelevant. yes, yes. Because Allah so, says it so is. The Quran is irrelevant. No. How do you make that equivocation? Because it speaks. Uh, because Muhammad spoke about. Uh, no, 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 no. How did you make that equivocation? Did Muhammad speak about Jesus? Yes, he did. Really? Where? When he when he made up the Quran. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Now you made another. Now you're saying Muhammad is the author of the Quran. Yes, of course he is. Who told you that? Uh, Muhammad himself. Where? When he spoke. But he said he authored the Quran. Uh, he did. He spoke. He spoke it. He's the only person who spoke. Did he claim to be the author of the Quran? He spoke it. Didn't did he? he claim to be the author of the Quran? It doesn't matter what. He's... If I speak the words of Lord of the Rings, am I J. A. Tolkien? No, but when you make things up am I? Yourself, am I? Wait, look, if you were to say, am I? If you were to say publicly here, am I? If you were to say publicly, answer the question. Here, if you were to say publicly, am I? Here, am I J. A. Tolkien by reading Lord of the Rings? If you were to say publicly here, yes. in your arrogance, that God says I am the greatest prophet. If you were to say it to people here. What are you talking you're, about? Your pride narrative. Did Muhammad Sallallahu ever claim to be the author of the Quran? You made the claim he did. Where? Because he's, he made Did it he up. make the claim? He made it up as he did he make the claim? Even Aisha. Did he make the claim? Even Aisha. Did he make the claim? Even Aisha. Did he make the claim? He spoke. Did he make the claim? He made it up himself. Did he make the claim? He made it up himself. himself. Can you answer the question? Why don't you no, we're not going around in circles. You're just avoiding the question. That's not going around in circles. That's you avoiding the question. The I'll ask again. He Did he make the claim he authored the Quran? Yes or no? He didn't say the word. Did he author it? But he did. did he claim it? In fact, he did. Where? Show us. That's when, like he, when he said the words... When did he claim he authored the Qur'an? He said, did he say these are my words? When he said, Hear what I say. When he said that he's the greatest prophet... Did he, he claim said, to be the author? When he did said with his own answer? lips that he's the greatest prophet... Is he answering the question? You're not letting him speak. Okay, let, well, sorry, sorry. She says I'm not letting you speak. I'll ask the question, yeah? Did he make the claim he's the author of the Qur'an? I'm not going to speak. I, I say this. That I, first of Are you listening? Yes. Right, make sure you do. First of all, I believe he... When he said the Qur'an, he made it up himself. He didn't say the words that you said. 
Uh, that's what he said. What did he say? You just said that, right? What? Yeah, what did he say? The words that you said. I'm not saying anything here, I'm letting him speak. He didn't say, but he made the Quran up himself. That's what I believe. Right, right, now stop, stop. Now he now has not given us a claim, he's given his opinion. I don't know the answer. To well, no, no, well, you interjected now. You dragged yourself into this. Okay. So now you have to understand, you're trying to make it, I'm being unfair here. Well, this is the unfair one here. Why? One, he's giving his opinion now. What's your opinion based on? What's my opinion based on? Yeah, so you, so first thing, you, I've, I've, first thing, first thing, first thing, you made the claim yeah. Muhammad authored the Quran. We've now confirmed that you agree that Muhammad never claimed he did, but you believe he did, yeah? So we've gone from Muhammad claiming he did, which is gone now, for you believing he did. I, I, never said, I never said that he claimed it. What I said is, I believe that he So your opinion is, what? My your opinion is Muhammad authored the Quran. And based, right. based Let's put this, that to the based, test. Based Should we put it to the test? Let's put it to the on test. The, on, the, on the height of arrogance, for a man to say that he's the greatest prophet out of his own lips. Did he say that? He said, Where? Allah says. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did he say that? Did he say that? He did say that. No, well, he didn't. Yes, he did. See, you talk about circular arguments here. No, you're bringing one. That's not a circular argument. Okay. Can God say Muhammad's the greatest prophet? First of all, it was Muhammad. Can God say it? It was Muhammad. Can God say it? It was Muhammad who said it. Can God say it? It was Muhammad who said it. Can God say it? It was Muhammad who said it. Oh, fuck. Was it Muhammad who said it? You don't, you don't who said it? According to the Quran, who said it? It's all shaking. First of all, um, according to Uthman's author. According to the Quran. The authorized version. According to the Quran. Uthman's version. According to the Quran. It's Uthman's version. Why don't you say it's Uthman's version? According to the Quran. Continue. You don't want Listen, to say it. I'm not going to go to that minefield. Change, change, change. Just, no, change. You, you haven't got the, why, you haven't got the why, academia why to deal with it. You, you haven't got the academia why, to deal with it. Tell me about Haruf. Tell me about Haruf. You want me to learn Arabic? No, yes? tell me about Haruf. You want me to learn Arabic? No, no, it's not to do with Arabic. It's to do with versions. Well, so you want to throw that in, yeah? Tell me about no, 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 no. Because you're claiming versions now. About thermodynamics. I don't Quran, know. Well, well, I'm not talking about thermodynamics. Well, I said you're it. talking about versions of the Quran no. as if you understand it. I said Uthman. So tell us about the science of Quran. Uthman's version. Tell us about the different recitations. Uthman's tell us about the different memorizations. First tell us about the wash. First of all, you, you can't you, tell us, can first you? First of all, you know that Uthman. Because, Uthman. you know, Uthman. David Wood. He doesn't quite go that deep for you, first you see. Of, first of all. He doesn't go deep enough for you. All, yeah, you have to be very, very careful. First of all, and this is a warning to anybody here coming, trying to quote answering Islam, you're going to look stupid. First of all. Yeah? Because it's all been refuted. First of all, Uthman did authorize the Quran that you. Now, I'm not being unfair again here, I'm just stand, making my point. Yes. Say it again? Yes. You heard what I said, yes? No, I didn't. I'll say it again. Uthman authorized the version, the Quran version. We're talking about the Quran. Today. The Quran I have today, yes. yes. Is who the, is the author? Is the authorized who, do, who claims to be the author? Uh, well, I think it was somewhere in, uh, what was it? Uh, no, e Egypt. He says Muhammad. Muhammad is the greatest prophet. He says prophet. Muhammad, no, he's changing. He says Muhammad. You said Muhammad said he's the greatest prophet. Yes. Yes. Don't, yes. Give don't, don't give all, don't give him a snap. Don't give him a snap. Don't, him a snap Muhammad Muhammad said that don't let him slip out. Okay, okay, listen. Yeah, listen, listen. You made the claim Muhammad authored the Quran. Yes? You made that claim. No, no, I didn't say that. I Oh, well, well, you take it back. Uthman. Uthman. So Muhammad didn't author the Quran. Uthman, he authored it. First of all, Uthman authored Wait, wait, wait. The, no, Are you yeah. saying Muhammad authored the Quran or not? You're going to play with words there, yeah? No. We're asking simple questions. Well, who's the author? Who is the author of the Quran? Yeah. Oh, you made the claim. The, the, the Quran that you have. According to you. The Quran that you have is Uthman's authorized version, isn't it? So did he author it? He wrote it. Who? Uthman. Uthman. Did he reveal it to the companions? Uthman had, uh, had uh, Zaid or Zaid gather it in. Uh, who's the author? Uh, who's the author of the Quran? Uthman gathered in uh, the, <laughs> the, uh, what he wanted. Who's the author of the Quran? Uthman. Uthman's the author of the Quran. Huh? Uthman is the author of the Quran. The, the version that you have. Why did you say that? Because all other versions were burnt. Who told you that? It's in the hadith. Oh Explain it to me. <laughs> Explain it to me. Yeah. You know already. No, I don't. You, do, you don't, no? What, you're saying to me there was different versions of the Quran? No, you don't. no, I don't. You don't, no? no. And you've, you haven't read this in tell the hadith? Tell me about it. Hadith. No, tell me about it. What hadith? Yeah? Tell, tell, us, tell us all about it. She definitely wants to know. So tell us. Uh, well, I'll let you know, Mr. David, I am a convinced Christian. So I'm oh, I can deal with that. Would you like me to deal with your Christianity after I dealt with this nonsense? No problem. I don't think you should lie in the park because you know exactly what I'm saying. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Because you're going so, the bush, bruv. Sorry, guys, sorry, guys, sorry, guys. Sorry. Please, you just called me a liar. You just called me a liar. You're saying that you've never heard of Uthman se uh, sending out all for his authorized versions to Damascus, Syria. That wasn't the question you asked me. You no, no, I, yeah, the, you know, change the question. It is the question. No, it's not. I said Uthman. You said to me Uthman burned other versions of the Quran. No, he didn't. He sent his men out with his authorized version 
and he had all other copies. Why did he do that? So you know it's true. No, 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 not in the words you put it, no. You said you, said you didn't know about it, so you have lied. I didn't, no, 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 no. Don't put words in my mouth, mate. You made a claim. You said Uthman burned all of the versions of the Quran. You did, yeah. No, I didn't say that. No, I didn't. I never claimed that. Heart, bits of, bits of uh, manuscripts. Do, do me a favour. We do need an expert on this, because I want to give it in detail, just so you understand as a convinced Christian, yeah, that he's talking nonsense. And when you hear this again, you'll know it's nonsense, okay? Do me a favour. Just get Mansour, yeah? Mansour will put this to bed for you, yeah? So you will never act stupid asking this question again, because you're completely misinformed. It's an accusation. You're saying that... Uh, yeah, saying it's an accusation. I'm saying it's an accusation now on camera. You're misinformed or mistaken oh, or lying. On the fact. Come on. Yeah, what's that? Mansoor! Okay, my friend here, yeah? We, he's deflected to a different point, right? We were talking about. He was claiming that Muhammad was the author of the Quran. I asked him where did he. I didn't, I didn't say that. Uthman. You know, we got on camera, you said Muhammad. Yes, you did, because I. I why would I keep. Uh, okay. Why would I keep asking you? played with words. I said. Convinced Christian, you were listening. Did he not say Muhammad was the author of the Quran? And then I asked him where did he make that claim. Then he changed, changed, changed. Then he switched to Uthman. Sorry, sorry. I, I must apologize. Thank you. So you did lie? But I didn't lie. You were mistaken. No, we're talking about two different subjects. If we're talking about Muhammad uh, already telling people about the Quran. No, I didn't ask. That's a simple question, mate. Who's the author of the Quran? I'm finished what I'm saying. Anyway, okay. No, anyway, no, 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 I'm going to come to the point where I brought Mansour because Mansour's a busy not, man. Not anyway. One second, one second. Anyway. No, no. Anyway, no, no, not, not anyway. Not one second. I want to deal with this as man nonsense. Not one second. All right. Not, so basically, I, my no, friend I, here, right? Hey, I'm yeah? talking to you over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm talking to him. One second. So basically, well, he needs to know what we're talking, well, we're talking about, isn't it? No, no, he doesn't. Yes, yes, he does. a conversation with you. Right. So basically, what it is, he claims the Quran we have today is Uthman's author, right? Then he tries to trying to say that Uthman burned all other Qurans. He's lying, he's did he not, did he not say that, Kevin's question? To clarify his position then. All right, yeah, clarify your position. Sorry, forgive me. I don't want to put words in your mouth. We were talking about two clarify your position. The earlier conversation was, I believe that when Muhammad first narrated the Quran, nobody else said it, it was him himself. And, and the hadith say that he could not read or write, so he spoke it. And then his uh, followers, his companions, wrote it down on memory. Well, right, that's not an issue. I agree with that. What's the problem? That's the first I have no issue with that. So that's the first subject. That's, that's right. Muhammad saying. Who told Muhammad what to write? Hold on a minute. So, and I claim that Muhammad made it up as he went along. That's what you believe? So, According to your opinion? Now, going, going forward to when Muhammad's dead, a different... Another man. A different subject. Right. Here's where we bring Uth you in. Uthman uh, was the authorised the Quran that you have now. Right. So if we jump back to Muhammad, I'm not saying... Muhammad is the author of the Quran you have now. I'm saying Uthman right. is the book. You understand my point? Yes? Right now, right now. Yeah, I, I could... When you were saying uh, he's claiming that Muhammad is the author. Of, All right, we'll do two of, things here the then. Okay, we'll do two now. things. All right, I see where you split it. I see where you split it. So what we'll do here, yeah, my brother here will rinse you now. Sorry. <laughs> on this understanding of Uthman, all right? And then I will rinse you on your original point on Muhammad receiving revelation, okay? I will do both. Yeah. He'll do the second part because he's an expert on that. Then I'll destroy your initial point, yeah, fair enough? And then convinced Christian will see he's got nothing to stand on and then we'll deal with your Christianity. Fair enough? Yeah, all right. Will, will, you do this uh, yeah, will you do this in a spirit, yeah, right. spirit of love and generosity <laughs> or, or arrogance and pride? Oh, he, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. No, no, but will you do it in a spirit, <laughs> yeah. it in a spirit of arrogance and pride and, uh, and, and self-claims of wisdom. I take great pride in refuting lies in the park, my friend. Great, great pride. I have no issue with that. Yeah, I love refuting falsehood. I love it. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, that's what I'm here to do. Simple as that. Okay, anyway. So, my man here. So, what's your point about Uthman? Just so convinced Christian can clearly, clearly understand the point. What's your point about Uthman being in the Quran? What do you think it proves or makes or what? I believe that. Um yeah, my lack of knowledge of the uh, the wars that went on after Muhammad's death, but there was uh, there was disagreements about leadership, and there, there was uh, the Muslims did go to war within in, within inside themselves. Oh, it's to the Quran. Yes. Why did Uthman so, burn the so, Quran? So uh, Uthman, uh, he first of all he gathered in. All of the uh, sent Look, forget the, forget the, Zay, so Zayd out to gather. Why did he do it? Why did he do it? What do you think it proves? Well, I think um, as a power source, he, he actually won out as a, a tribal leader, right? Amongst uh, against others. Mm -hmm. So he, what he said, uh, went and he sent his men out. What do you think it proves? And he sent his authorized. Oh, so what? So you're saying now the Quran we have today is yes. Uthman's version? Uh, yes. Now does that mean? And, and, and we can't check. 
whether whether we do or not have. Uh, what, what do you mean by Uthman's version? version? Because what's the difference between Muhammad's version and Uthman's? We can't tell because because Uthman, according to the Hadith, burnt. What do you think the difference is? Do you understand what I just said? What, yes. What do you think the difference is? No, I heard exactly what you said. You can't uh, tell because everything else has been burnt. Right. So you're saying you don't know if there was differences. What I'm saying is, you don't know. So what you're saying is, how do we know the Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay. Because Mansoor, oh, okay, okay. Burn everything else. The, the table is spread. Mansoor, welcome to the banquet. There you go. This is Brother Mansoor. He'd be able to explain. I just want to. I don't want to be standing in the sun. Staring. We can move out of the sun, no worries. I don't mind. No, no, no. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. When Uthman has a role, when he has a role in the party, there are political activities going along. Yep. Political activities going along? I don't say everything. No, no. From because you mentioned about you know how there were war between groups. Yes. yes. Right. Were the people after Uthman radiallahu anhu who were not from his group, but they became in power? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, my knowledge about that time is not that extensive. Okay. So you know. Um, I'll ask you a question. When Mohammed died, yeah. uh, was there a clear leadership uh, change or was there a discussion or arguments about who should take up the leadership? Okay, this is a totally different question and a subject to the compilation and transmission no, of the Quran. It's the same subject because, uh, because whoever's in power, like the, the victor wins and tells the history that they want okay. to tell. Okay, that's why, so, so that's precisely so the, the reason I asked you if we think the the powerful authority who is the leader of the community is changing the quran then what would you expect as reason dictates that after his death if the opposition takes control of power they will reinstate back what was the true nature of the quran before you before you ask before you i haven't asked your question yet you i'm just trying you know, you know, you know, no no i haven't what i'm saying is this if you link this to the quran and its transmission is linked with whoever is in power, they make changes and they officially say this is the official sanctioned copy of the Quran. That's, that's the gist of your argument. No, my, my, just my argument is... Oh, is, it, is that not the first, case? First of all, by the, as I understand, the authentic hadith that, that Sunni Muslims believe, that Uthman did uh, gather together uh, the Quran. He, he didn't sell, here's, here's Mohammed's copy, we have it here, just go and print this out and send it out. But he actually had to gather it in afresh uh, from, the, from the different people because they were worried that the people on the battlefield who knew the Quran off by So you heart, need to read a bit more on this issue because you have read a little bit on this issue. According to uh, the hadith, that they were worried that they would lose parts of the Quran because the, uh, the, the people who recited okay. it in their heart were dying on the battlefield. So they, they, uh, okay. Uthman uh, gathered in uh, the Quran. I think deal with that issue first about the battle. He gathered in on the uh, dead he, he, animal birth. Was he the first one to officially compile it? No, Abu Bakr. Uh, so what happened to that when he was compiling his own, own compilation? Well, what was wrong with Abu Bakr's copy? Should be your question to yourself. No, 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 no. Really? Please. Should, shouldn't it be? May I ask you for a clarification? You are giving us the impression that Uthman, radiallahu anhu, Uthman, the political yes. leader, the, the Khalifa, while he was in power, he somehow compiled his own version. According to... Uh, Allow me to yeah. make my point, right? But the fact remains, even before him, another official compilation happened. Yeah. At the Caliphate of Abu Bakr. Is that what you're saying? And what's your, what, wait, wait. What was wrong with that? Excuse me. What was wrong with no, no, that? you don't ask me questions. I will ask on this matter. So allow me. Allow, allow me to. Allow me to. Excuse me. Now that's not going to be. It's not going to be very fair. Allow me to finish my point. I ask you questions. Yeah, yes. I will answer. Okay, I'm answering that. You can choose to answer. Thank you. I'm answering. So allow me to finish my answer. Whether I ask you questions or not. My friend, don't worry. Don't, don't worry. So allow me to continue to finish my answer. So now. If the I, I claim that I believe that Mohammed. Uh, no, no, we, we, the reason we brought Uthman. Himself, but Uthman, I, I know. No, you made the claim. You asked me the question. You said, you said it's, no, no, no. You said, was there any other? other yeah. And I said Uthman. You, you, you made the claim. Okay. You made the claim. Let's clarify that. Yeah. Let's, okay. you, Let me just clarify And still, the claim. you haven't clarified to yourself the very basics of the collection of the Quran. You have access you to so much material. For these last seven years, you've been in Speaker's Corner. You have been discussing this how many times? Probably many times. Many times, yeah. Right. And yet, you haven't taken the opportunity for your self-learning, 
to find out the very basics of the compilation of the Quran. So you've raised an issue how political authority can change the Quran. And that's why I said, if this was the case, yes. reason tells us, if it was the case, forget about whether there's collections before by Abu Bakr or not, yes. for the sake of argument. If after the death of Uthman, an, yes. we find one of the opposition party becomes the elected or selected whoever, yes. political leader, yes. leader of the state, you'd expect if something was changed of the Quran, they will reinstate it back, let me finish. Because Muslims cannot tolerate even a change with one letter of the Quran. Because it is not like your Bible where you change day and night, year by year, month by month, Middle Ages, you know, even today you change and you say that's okay. Let me finish. No, no, no it's important. Your particular outlook on the scripture is totally different than ours. You might say, oh, who cares? In the Middle Ages they added 1 John 5 7. Because, because they couldn't find a supporting verse of the Trinity, they introduced one. And you say, but, but we've discovered the forgery. It's okay now. We know it's a forgery in the Middle Ages. We don't take it as likely as this. We will only accept the Quran as exactly 100% from the Prophet ﷺ from Allah. We don't, we don't, excuse me, excuse me, I have not finished yet. I have not finished. So, so when, that's what you're claiming. So when we find a claim like this, that, oh, political leadership changes the Quran, then you'd expect every single political leader that comes, I have not made my finish, I haven't finished my point. Excuse me. Can you finish? Okay. Shouldn't you ask? I have to dis uh, leave. Shouldn't you ask? I'm sorry. Shouldn't you ask? No, no, I haven't finished my point. And you're, you're already thinking of our reputation in mind. So that is not a sincere way of discussing. I haven't finished my point. Excuse me. I haven't finished my point. Do you realize? Once I finish, I will give the floor to you and then you discuss whatever I said. Okay. If I made any mistake, you can correct me. If I've said something wrong and said that you got it wrong. Okay. So what I'm saying is this. There are many political establishments with opposing views that became leader of the Muslims at a different time point in history. Muslims take the Quran seriously. They cannot allow even a single letter change, okay, or a word change or a verse change. This is how Quran is to the Muslims. Hold on to your thoughts. Be patient. Learn some patience. You know, patience is a virtue. So, if Uthman, for the sake of argument, عنه, may God be pleased with him, if he introduced any change in the Quran, if he was able to, that's another question altogether, if he was able to, we would find throughout history, people have changed the changes back to what was supposed to be the Quran. Have we got any of this? Well, yeah, good point. You said we would, yeah, since you're assuming that I'm agreeing with you, yeah? So you wouldn't? But, well, I understand your point, don't get me wrong, I understand your point. But when you're in politics, or, or especially if you've got a book that uh, you've got people following, uh, there, are, there can be other political reasons why, why you wouldn't change it, even if you're the opposition party. You wouldn't change it? Yes, because uh, it's like... Well, you just said Uthman uh, did change it um, through political reasons. And he's saying the, no, no, no. the next opposition comes no after no will not change uh, it back. Uthman was the only person who politically changed the Quran, uh, according to you. I've got your name. Mansour. Mansour, yeah? Your point is the, the opposition uh, got into power after Uthman's death, yes? Yeah. And you're saying you that, you, that you'd expect that they would change it back. To have your conviction. Yeah. Is it not reasonable to expect that? that it, is, uh, it is reasonable. Okay. But also, politically, they may decide that actually we want to play our cards this way, we keep it as it is, Sorry, you know, the system works, you know, uh, the, our power base is here, we're getting, we're getting wealthy, we're gaining more land. Um, why, why upset you know, the Muslims and split us in two again? Let's just stay with this. Do you understand that point as well? You're suggesting because of some kind of unity, purposes of unity, the opposition that came... It's politics. Let me finish. The opposition that came after opposition to Uthman, yes. they didn't bother reinstating back what was the original. They thought, we don't want to divide the community. Let's carry on with the temperance and corruption of the Quran. Uh, wait, 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 let's understand your argument. Let's understand yeah. the argument. So you think Muslims are so, you know, I don't know, strange people on earth, when the very reason Uthman started compiling was because companions of the Prophet they were reading the Quran during the Battle of Azerbaijan, yeah, Ar Ar Armenia. He was reciting the Quran and he was reciting the Quran. 
And they heard each other's recitation and they said, no, my recitation is better than yours. Yeah. And that went back to the Khalif. He says, what? Muslims are fighting and disagreeing on the book of God about which recitation is better? No, wait, no, wait, then, state, wait, 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 excuse state, me. Uh, one, let me one, finish. Man. Let me yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah, excuse me. No, no, no. You see, now you're, so you know, so uh, can I finish the point? Uh, it's not going to work. So that only recitation differences alarm the Khalif to again do an official endeavor again to get everyone back together on the drawing board to copy the Quran and distribute it. Oh, this is a new point. Wait, at Uthman's time. Yes, sorry. The disagreement. And yet, the same argument doesn't apply when the opposition comes and he says, what? Oh, we're going to keep this disagreement. Doesn't matter oh, whether you recite this way or that way. I know Quran has been changed by our previous leadership. We're going to keep with this corrupted Quran. Excuse me. I want to see this mentality and I want you to consistently apply that to your Bible. Because if you're really a Bible believer. So now you're saying, the next leadership that came, they were happy with the corruption of the Quran by the earlier leadership. No, I didn't and say that. no, what that's I, what you said. You said, said because said. of the purpose of unification of the Muslims, I the not is, to. I think the word is pra pragmatic. Uh, they, they, because they, they got in power, mm -hmm. they have, they have, they have a, a choice. If, yeah. if they really believe in the Quran, they're not just. Uh, in it for the money and... and Did they believe in it? I, I, you don't know and I don't know. I'm asking you, what do you think? Well, we don't know, do we? Oh, they fought over each, with, with each, each other, but they had the same Quran. No, no, no what I'm saying and is, yet, people, and people in those days, you don't know what's in their heart. You don't know what oh. they done it for. In oh. fact... Uh, Maybe you don't believe in the Bible, right? If, I don't know what's if, in your heart. If, well, is it possible you don't believe in the Bible? Christ, Christian. May I ask you this question directly? Is it possible you don't believe in the Bible? Christian. Excuse me. Christian. Is it possible that you don't believe in the Bible in your heart, but when you speak Speak, you actually say I believe in the Bible Christian. because we go by the statements I am saying we go by the statements of the Muslims and the leadership they all believe in the Quran they made it very clearly you are saying we don't know what's in the heart even though you say you believe in the Bible we don't know what's in your heart we don't know what's in your heart you know, so you might not believe the Bible but earlier on you said you knew what's in my conscience no I said your conscience is based on your social condition yeah you made a claim but you don't anyway, no no I, I said it's based on social and I supported but, that uh, with evidence I, I made a mistake earlier on when you said about two sides fighting I thought you were talking about the time when uh, there were two Muslims in the, in the mosque when Muhammad was still alive. One was reciting. No, you the, changed the subject and, again. And the, no, it's the same subject. And when the other. No, uh, that's not when, 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 It's got nothing the, to do with that. When the other uh, heard him, he said, it was all I could do is hold myself back from going and grabbing him there and then. And it, I think he dragged him to Muhammad. He said, this man is reciting the Quran in the wrong way. So Muhammad. No, he didn't say wrong way. Well, what did he say then? So I would like you to uh, do what, one what thing. I am going to tell you. What did he say? But I'm, before I tell you, I have to tell you something else, which is this. If you're going to recount historical narrations, information, yes. you should try your best to recount them as best I do. I do. accurately as possible. I do try to. Um, do you have a phone which has um, facilities to actually... No, not today, no. Uh, not today. Or a paper version, you have a bag. Next time, copy it down, copy and paste and print it. Well, I'm going to tell you why. I used to. I used to. Right. So, we don't want you to say things which are not there, a historical. Imagine, you know what, when Jesus met this woman and he said, and he said, and he said, you know what, woman, you're from planet Mars. Uh, but actually, this is what your mistake, right? She didn't, he didn't say anything about planet Mars. Oh, so you're introducing your own words. Sorry, Mohammed said, uh, I, I gave two recitations. No, no. no. So first of all, he says, this is not how the prophet taught me. Yeah, the way you're reciting no, is not the way. No, Mohammed answered the question, the problem, by saying. No, no, before you go I, to the I, problem, I to him, when the two companions, Omar, when he heard Surah number 25, Surah Al Furqan being recited, yeah, by Hisham, or Hashim Hisham, I think his name is, or the other companion, he says, This is not the way the Prophet taught me. Which way did he teach so, you? Did, he, oh. did the Prophet tell you to make a prophet? Oh, uh, yes. Have you had your coffee yet? No. Okay, you need to have your coffee and then we can continue um, <laughs> on this issue. <laughs> so, so to continue, to continue. So, then, then they say, okay, let's go back to the Prophet. When there were disputes about the Quran, I'm a Muslim, alhamdulillah, praise be to when Allah. The, what so, I want to know is, when is the Messiah um, going to come? Um, you are interrupting this gentleman. Um, have some no, it's um, one, patience. One, it's one-sided. 
Do you want me to continue with this gentleman first? I need a coffee first. Yeah, you need a coffee too, according to your so own words. So, oh, I, need, I need a coffee. Not uh, he's coffee. been here already. I'll be, I'll so, be here for half an hour. I so, need a coffee physically. I need a coffee too. So, why don't you have a grab of coffee and we can continue another time? Yeah. But do you want just two minute clarification on this? So, so like, when there was a dispute, they didn't say, you know what? Infidel, infidel. No. They were saying, let's go back to the Prophet because it's the Prophet who taught us. Are you a, an intelligent or a rational? An unintelligent. Okay, unintelligent. Sorry, you're excluded we from that discussion. That one, so, so they went back to the Prophet the and the Prophet said, okay, the you recite. Merge. You recite. Then he recited and the Prophet said, this is how it was revealed. And then the Prophet then turned to the other companion. You recite. And he recited exactly the way the Prophet taught him. And the Prophet said, this is how it was revealed. So the Prophet taught these... He made a mistake he told two different things to different people. No. The same verse. No. I'm very surprised that you don't even know the very basics of what we believe about our Quran. I mean, yet, you come here to discuss with Muslims. The same verse in the Quran? The Prophet taught the Quran. Is that a yes or a no? Was it the same verse? Um, I think verse? I was just about to answer the question. The Prophet taught the Quran in several ahruf or modes of recitation to facilitate easiness, ease of reading and memorizing. Because there are people who are weak, there are who are old, there who are unable. All in the Quraysh language. No, listen. The Prophet recited because Allah allowed in the Quraysh language. Why do you call if you keep on, if you keep on interrupting every time I'm trying to explain to you, you will never hear the explanation. You can say yes or no. You talk drivel. Okay, what day is it today? Sunday or Monday? Yes or no? It's Sunday. I said yes or no. Uh, yeah, that's, that's to uh, try to trick the mind, yes. Try to trick the mind. So do not try to trick the mind by saying and asking question yes and no. Let me continue. Thank you. You're the one who said it. No, no, you asked me yes and no, yes and no. I just gave you your own medicine. Yes and no, yes and no doesn't always it's not always applicable. Okay. Like, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught the Quran in several ahruf. If you want to know what the ahrufs are, we can tell you. Tell me. Okay. Consider these other modes of recitation. Different modes of recitation. That is why the are they, are they all different in the correct language? That's my question. No. Why do they all become different? They, different so he, he, Muhammad yeah, taught like the Quran in different, yeah. like, different languages. Non different languages, all in Arabic. Or it's different, all in Arabic, uh, but the not Quran. in the I know that. Dialect. The Quran is not only for the Qureshi people. So, do you agree? So you're saying no. that when he talks un Qureshi Why? people, Arabic, Why? Arabs. He spoke it in their dialect. No, I don't say, I, don't, I didn't say, I'm so, making so, such clear. So, so, I am saying, so back, I am saying, question. what is the question? The, the, two, <laughs> the two recitations that he gave to these two different men. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's not to do with dialect. Was it, uh, it was the same verse. It's not the same verse, it's the same chapter or surah. Wow. So it's the same chapter. Yeah, surah number four, 25, surah al-Furqan. And, and I had an argument saying that you've said it the wrong, the other one said no, you've said it yeah. no, you, no. one, one, no, no. It is not to do with dialect. But, but was, was that in the Quraysh dialect? I've answered three times already even not before you asked. So you haven't answered? I've answered three times yeah. even before you asked. I said it's not to do with dialect. But was it in the dialect? Well, are you Quraysh? asking is it's not to do with dialect? No, it wasn't. So you're saying you haven't understood my question. Mohammed. It was not with dialect. Maybe I haven't made myself clear. It wasn't to do with the dialect. Language. Sorry? Language? No, modes of recitation. Yeah, so, so, so what does that mean? Ah, right. I'll give you a standard book that you can read upon with all the various explanations. Hang on, hang on. I don't need to read a book. Uh, yes, that? do you know why? Why? It's good to read books, that's good. Do you know why I'm giving you the books? My question so you can then take a picture and say that this is what Muslims said. Yeah. There was two, right. two men in a mosque. Okay, that's one, it. One so, man, one man. Okay, that's it, that's it. One man. Uh, Let me continue. Heard there were men say, say the same chapter yeah. and said you're saying it the wrong way. He didn't say the wrong way. You made the mistake again. You are inventing and changing history for your own benefit. Why did he the hadith, the narrations, I'm just telling you, the hadith does not say you are reading the wrong way. How many times am I going to correct you? Right, so why, why did he want to grab him around the neck? He said, why did he, drag him to he said, this is not how the Prophet taught me. Okay. Okay. So if the Prophet taught him something, which he then hears someone else reciting the same chapter in a different way, of course, of course, he will say, 
Where did you learn this from? So you're saying that the, the, the way the person was saying it differently was not to do with dialect or language, right? Yeah, go ahead. And the words were not different either. Okay. Did Omar, the companion, radiallahu anhu, understand which surah it was recited? Yes. Must which surah did he think it was recited? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not... Say yes. Uh, uh? How did you know he understood it was this surah recited? If the because, surah, chapter, the words, because, everything was different. Because in the, con in the context, he said, he heard him sat in the mosque, he heard him stand up, he heard him, uh, he, he held himself back because he was angry. What did he hear being recited in the, in the prayer? Not what he, not the way he. No, what did he hear? Did he hear him reciting um, well, I, a chapter that he had no idea about? I asked you, no, I said, so we know, you've already said it's the same chapter, we know that. But how did you know it was the same chapter? Because you've just, you just said that. Earlier. No, no, I want you to tell me, how did he know it was the same chapter? The question is, you've told me that it's the same chapter. No, no, no ignore what I said. No, I want you to now my analytically is. examine these narrations. How did this companion understand the other companion was reciting chapter 25? Uh, was it in the same language? It must be in the same language. Or he oh, understood the language that was being spoken. How did he know it was chapter 25 and not 26 or not 3? Because the words must have been quite similar. Word must have been similar. Right. But so there are, are certain differences. Are wrong? What wrong? In his mind, so wrong that no, he... No, no. You are again introducing no, no, what we call, what no. we call your own logical fallacies. The hadith does not say, he said, you're reciting it wrong. He grabbed him and dragged him to Muhammad. Look, if you, if you read the Quran, if you're at the time of the Prophet, you, and you read the Quran different than I have learned directly from the Prophet. I'm going to take you to the Prophet. I'm going to take you like this. At, Come. At the, at the Sorry. Time, at the time of the yeah? Prophet, could I read? The, do you know why I would do that? Could I read the whole Quran? Because the Prophet taught me directly. Yeah. And you're reading it slightly differently. Could I read the whole Quran? Hmm? Muhammad was alive. Why should you change the, change okay. the subject? So, Let's come back to this man, right? I think, I think, I think, I'm not sure what subject you're going to talk about. If you want a lesson about compilation of the Quran, of the first and the second and the third, a good book I can recommend to you is by Yasir Qadi. It's called Introduction to the Sciences of the Quran. Yeah? Or Mufti Taqi Usman is similarly a book on the introduction to the sciences of the Quran, both available in English. And they go through all the details, if you do care. But if you want to really just argue for the sake of argument, you're not going to go anywhere. Why? Because you don't have the very basic understanding of the history. You're just inventing things and I am catching you on uh, out on this. So what happened is this. When Uthman compiled, how did he compile? Did he just say, okay, oh, I'm going to just um, make an order. This is my version of the Quran and you follow. No, this was done with the consensus of all the companions that we were able to gather together within according this to project. Who, according, to who, who, according to whose history? According to our history. No, no, no. Not your history, because you have no history for our history. My question is... So according to our history, first, first this is what's first happened. All, first of all, the, the history we talk about, we all have it. Yeah? Have you read our history? I've, I've read some of it. Which one? And first of all, it's not, Which your, have you it's read? not your history, because you're, you're from India. You're, you're, not, you're, not, you're not an Arab. Islamic history, relax. So, so, so yeah, this is true, isn't it? Yeah? No, it's not true. Because we're not talking about my ethnic background. So yeah. Oh, you know, you know, what's the Urdu history and the Tamil history? Yeah. We were talking about the Islamic history. I'm a Muslim, so it's my history. If you don't, if you don't like it, then, uh, you know, what, what, what can I say? Well, you're you're you have to go history. for your coffee. Yeah. It's you're quoting right? It's your word. Like yeah. yeah. It's your word. So, I've never quite so what we're saying is... You're behaving like Okay, brother. You so, so what we're like saying is this, did, did the companions, whether they liked him or didn't like him, did they disagree with his compilation? What do you think would have happened to him if they disagreed with Uthman? What do you think, uh, seriously, what do you think would have happened? Yeah, what do you think? Do you think they're like this, this kind of, you know, you know, this, this, you know, what do you, you think? Why are you giving me is Muslim Khalif was such that, you mean they brother, brother, forced. please, not, not the ones excuse don't, me, don't, don't. Not the ones he has an idea of a Muslim Khalif, just like some of the presidents of yeah. our countries today, some countries, where he's such a dictator, anyone disagrees with him, off with your head. Is that what you think? Well, when Mohammed assassinated people and, and, Queen Elizabeth. and cut their heads off, that was the that was the order of the day for Mohammed, wasn't it? Which Mohammed? The Paul you're talking about? I talk about Mohammed 
cut off people's heads. Okay. So I know it's a very, um, very dubious way of bringing in Prophet Muhammad as an assassinator. No, 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 okay. It's, it's, when did he assassinate? It's, anyway, it's just subject. let's entertain that. When did he assassinate anyone? Well, he assassinated when he when he was in Mecca. He mm -hmm. didn't assassinate anybody. When did he assassinate but he, anyone? But he didn't have power. When he went to Medina, yeah, and he gained power. Yeah. When did he assassinate? By having camel raids. No. The, when did he assassinate? I'm telling you. I'm, I'm not camel raids. I'm not interested in horse raids and camel raids. Well, assassinations. Assassinations. Yes. I'm trying to tell you how he got there. How no, I don't want to know how he got there. Tell me, why the person he, that he assassinated. Why do you want to know? Because I don't want your history which you don't know anything about it. Right, one of the, one of the women. Tell me one who he assassinated himself. One of the Will you women. Let him finish one of the his women. Point? One of the women. Does he have a point? Well, I don't know yet because I haven't heard. Oh, for an hour. Right. So he has no point. That's the point. One of the women. Right. The, the one of the women that he had assassinated. He assassinated himself. I didn't say that, did I? Okay, so he didn't assassinate anyone himself. No, no, first, okay, let's uh, let's clarify uh, this point. Did he assassinate anyone you himself? Ask you ask your Excuse me. You ask me a question. Did the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam assassinated any human being himself? First of all, let me finish no. my point. No. I would like you to say, directly no. answer the question. Let me say no. Did the Prophet of Islam assassinate wait, any human being wait, 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 himself? Wait, wait, when you say no... I didn't say no or yes. It's not up to you what I said. I'm asking I say you a question. Say, yes. Well, that's a lot Did he I'm, I'm, assassinate I'm any human being? Step in. Himself. No, first of all, you asked the question about assassination. Yes. No, yes. Uh, himself. No, no, no. You, no. you bring it. Now you're, now you're putting a condition. The first thing you said to no, me. We'll start. Clarify that. Clarify. To me okay. Was, okay. Let's talk about assassination. Let. You don't want to talk Excuse about, me. You don't want to talk about my friend. Raids. My friend. So let's talk about assassination. Excuse me. I'm we were talking I'm about finished. compilation of the Quran, and now we're going to assassination. Do you know why this because this shift of change? Because when people are insecure about a subject which they cannot really talk about it they want to move to someone else you know what i make good coffee so i'll tell you about you know what you, you know what i'm not interested in your good coffee you i was interested in i was I did he assassinate for the last I time tell you about did the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam assassinated any human being himself the answer is if you uh, if you give the order, you've a, you have assassinated them yourself. So by his own hand, oh. he hasn't. Okay. So okay. I've, I've, so I've, when? I've, I'm not too okay. sure. But sorry, I think, sorry, sorry, I think sorry. there I think there was okay. one man where when they gathered round him and he was on the floor and he and, and he said, Muhammad, what about my daughters? And Muhammad said, To hell with your okay. daughters. <laughs> okay, brother. I think, Let's go back. I think Muhammad may have. I killed, think we've got your argument. I think Muhammad may have killed that. Listening to what? He's explaining. But I wanna, he's I wanna not go, explaining. I go to he's not explaining something. I he's not explaining something which has a basis. About the woman that was in bed with her children. No, no, okay. No, no, no. Muhammad's okay. Men, <laughs> right. I want to talk about the, the. Are you going to be consistent with this I method? I want to talk about the woman who okay. was in bed with her children in Medina, in her yeah. own quarter. With, with babies in Shall bed. we talk about that? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Even, right. We'll okay. About let me even, let me respond. Hey, hold it. Make I, claim. I haven't finished. Yeah, make, oh, make your claim. So And then go back to Uthman's compilation. According to the hadith, it says with great detail, the woman was in bed with her children. Which hadith? Um, even, I let's write even this down. One of the children Which hadith? Even Sorry. One of the children was Which hadith? Even one of the children was no, no, stop, stop. One stop, one please. Children. Please. I beg you. One, you know, which hadith? You know perfectly well. No, I don't know perfect hadith. No, which hadith? Many years, you know exactly. No, no, no. You're making this up. Which hadith? Tell them to give them the information. Even, Even one of the children. Excuse me. But we believe you're making Which hadith? Uh, you're making this up. Which hadith? It's important God's to ask judge. for the reference. God, Which every, hadith? Every, every, every line you say God's going to judge Didn't you. Didn't Jesus say to go kill all the women in a city? Brother, we, we will talk about this in a second. I want to see how consistent yeah, yeah, yeah. you are. One one day, day, okay. Day, okay. Every line you okay. Line okay. Public, okay. Um, yes. uh, my friend. So I'm explaining to you. Okay. Woman. Which hadith? Um, would you care to give us which hadith? No. I don't, I don't. Look. Seriously, I don't. Which hadith? I don't know what you're talking about. You, you, know, you make the claim, you know, the role is on you to substantiate. Well. Sorry, then, yeah. I've been here seven years talking to you. Side, you. You haven't talked to me for seven, seven years. I've, 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 I've stopped talking to you the so moment I realise so you are you are not a sincere so what, what individual. So what when I'm a man of integrity, say. I stop talking. But my brother invited me, that's why I'm talking to you. Excuse me. Where? 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 Give us the reference. He's just making it up. Okay. Which Do you know why we ask for it? So we can check it out ourselves. So where did he say that? No, the reason, no, the reason, where the reason, the reason why you asked for no, it. Where is it? Let him say the story. No, so no. You, know what he's claiming. you make, 
Look, you can say it's Bukhari, Muslim, Abu Dawood, Tirmidhi, Nasai, Abi Shaiba. Excuse me. Listen, listen. Just tell us where it is, brother. He's already enlightened. Tell us where it is and then move on. He knows the story. He can make a claim. He knows the evidence. Tell us where it is and then move on. You only need five seconds to say that. Just admit you don't know. Just admit you don't know and send it He just doesn't want the public to hear about Do you know where the hadith is? Do you know where it is? So, do you know where it is? Excuse me, now stop there. Whenever you say Muhammad say, you should tell me where he said it. Where, where did he say it? Where did he say it? I think it's fairly clear he doesn't what know the hadith. Thank you. Not, that does not mean not, it's not there. No, it's important. It's important why? Because we cannot go along saying, you know what, you know what Jesus said? The, the woman who came from Mars, you have all the right to stop me saying, where did he say that? Wasting time, man. Because this is the nature of the allegations he's making. Someone from Mars. So now, so God will judge you and me and everyone else. Don't forget yourself. When you stand in front of God, make sure you are someone who will be able to justify your all the things that you're making. I'm justified. I'm justified. Okay, we'll see. Oh, we'll see. You will see. Right. Right. So, are you consistent? Okay. Now here is my here is my take on this. You said when you give order. It's as if you are assassinating yourself, right? That's what you said. When, when Jesus, who is the God of the Old Testament, ordered the killing of the babies. No, no. no. When you want to go somewhere else, do you? You want to go away from consistency. You want to go away from consistency. You want to go away from brother. In your Bible, in the Old Testament, in Samuel, in Ezekiel chapter nine, verse five. I'm giving you the reference. Do you hear? Ezekiel chapter nine, verse five. Jesus says. Go and kill you wanted to know about assassination. men, women and children and do not show pity or compassion. So Jesus ordered the killing of babies. You wanted to know about Muhammad's assassinations. Excuse me. Did Jesus... Did you ask me that? Did you ask me that question? I, I'm answering. No, no. I'm answering. You, you know why I'm answering? You you ask me but you've answered your question. Ask your question already. No, because you I keep on waffling. Finished. I haven't finished it. You already have. You're Every time. Okay. You're interrupting. So are you going to back up your it's question okay. with references? It's not okay. okay. Where did it say in the, in, in, in the you hadith? Full well, where it is. You you're lying to me. You're lying to me. And you're lying to the public. Okay. Where in the hadith? You're lying before God. Exposing the judgment. What did I lie about? You know full well what you're lying about. No, he doesn't know. End of discussion. Sorry. Why did you invite me to talk to an individual? who has no even a grain of sincerity I not a grain of sincerity if you have sincerity tell me where did the prophet say that you're which being, hadith you're being a hypocrite now because now you're calling me a liar you you're were calling a liar, me a hypocrite if you were, well, you, if you, were you know what may god i can't shake your hand okay i don't have any gloves anyway so <laughs> it doesn't matter uh, you know i would have put my gloves on and ask you to put your gloves on so you can shake your hands. So at least you feel that, okay, you know, there's some kind of artificial uh, ending of the discussion. Is this how you feel about? I just want to end the discussion in a mutual, you know, saying, okay, what? Agree to disagree. He doesn't even want to do that. Yeah, because, because in because your heart, there's something else. For that reason. Something else. For that reason okay. I told you a long time ago. You know what? When you say that. Would it's you mind continuing the discussion between yourself? Because um, I think this discussion is not going to be any fruitful I'm discussion. Ready to this question. Yeah? How about discussing with my brother? Continue the discussion, and I'm sure you will both learn from each other. In this discussion, no one's learning from each other.